What happens if Governor Bashir does get that call from the Harris campaign? He wouldn't have to resign as governor of Kentucky unless the ticket won. And at that point, Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman would step in as acting governor. We spoke with Coleman, who says she's ready should she need to step up. This happens um, all over the country all the time as governors are appointed or move on to different offices. And the reason that they pick a lieutenant governor is to have that succession plan in place and they pick someone they believe is ready. And I wouldn't have accepted if I didn't think I was ready. And I don't think the governor would have asked me if he didn't think I was ready. If Coleman becomes acting governor, the question is who will take on the role of lieutenant governor. We're working with the secretary of state's office to get clarification on how that line of succession process could work. Harris is lead, heading to Battleground State, Wisconsin today. Look for details from that campaign stop later on WHAS11.com and in our free news app. New this morning, New Albany police are investigating a double shooting where two men were hurt. This happened around 7 o'clock last night at a home on Culbertson Avenue, which is about a half mile from New Albany High School. Police say officers found one man with a gunshot wound. He was taken to a local hospital, but then a second man with a gunshot wound showed up at a local hospital by private means. Police believe he is involved in the shooting and say all parties are accounted for in this case. Also, right now, Metro Police are searching for suspects in a deadly shooting in southwestern Jefferson County. They say just after 9 Sunday night, officers found a man on Dixie Highway past Valley Station near the Harrison County line. He was pronounced dead at the scene. No arrests have been made. If you have any information here, 574-LMPD is the number to call. Former UK basketball and NBA star Ray John Rondo is expected to plead guilty to misdemeanor gun and drug charges out of southern Indiana. Court records show a change of plea hearing is scheduled for September 3rd. Indiana State Police arrested Rondo in Jackson County in January after a traffic stop on I-65. Officers say he was pulled over for reckless driving with a minor in the car. Troopers who searched the vehicle say they found drugs and a loaded gun. Rondo is charged with unlawful carrying of a handgun, possession of marijuana, and possession of drug paraphernalia. The Jefferson County Clerk's Office is closing all of its locations today because of what the clerk calls an unexpected system outage. The closures include all motor vehicle branches, which means you cannot get your car registration in person today. Now, on its social media yesterday, the office posted about persistent network outages. They did that throughout the day. We did ask the clerk's office for more details, but we're still waiting on a response. Also today, a special testing and licensing site will open for TARC drivers to get licensed to drive JCPS buses. It's part of Jefferson County Public Schools' effort to ensure it is prepared with qualified bus drivers for the upcoming school year. Starting at 1030 at JCPS's CV Young building on Crittenden Drive, as many as 38 TARC drivers who already hold a commercial driver's license will participate. The certification process is set up by Kentucky State Police and the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. If the drivers pass, they'll get the additional certification needed to drive a school bus. The JCPS Transportation Hotline 485 RIDE is now live. The district says staff members will answer phones between 930 and 4. That's Monday through Friday, and that's going to last until the first day of school. The goal is to provide parents with details about their students' transportation. Now, there's also a bus teller portal for parents and guardians to see what bus stop is assigned to their student. The portal that just came out for the car riders, for the carpool and the bus, that just came out today. Schools in less than three weeks. So, I mean, I, I, I need to see it because last year was a mess all year. To check on your student's bus stop, we do have a link to JCPS's bus teller portal in this story at whs11.com.